it's time to get empowered and realize your true beauty with tips, breakthroughs, and secrets of the industry. And now, here's your host, your personal beauty guru, David Pollack, and health expert, Lisa Davis. As a regular listener, you probably realize I've learned to eat healthier and healthier. These, these shows have been great for me even. And so I, I learned so much from our different guests. And today I've got a guest on that I'm so excited because, well, first her name is Maria Ibrahim. And I want to make sure I got that right. And she's AKA the Fit Foodie. And she's an award winning entrepreneur, chef, author, patent holder, a 26 year food industry veteran. She's the founder of, and CEO of Grow Green Industries and the makers of a patented Eat Cleaner product line. And I'm excited because it ties right in because I'm eating more and more fruit. And well, I've got a bunch of questions. So, so Mariah, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. It's great to be with you guys. I, I, a few episodes back, it, it, one of our guests I, I just said something that hit home with me. And I swear to you, that day I said to my wife, on the way home, I want to go by the grocery store and change my eating habits. And I started learning mm. to eat unprocessed foods, you know, just more natural fruits, mm-hmm. so, foods. And so more and more fruit became a big piece of it. But, but then we started discussing, okay, I rinse it real quick and then I eat the fruit. And then I start hearing in the news about all these different diseases going around and people getting it from lettuce and fruit and I'm going okay well that's my excuse to go back to eating M&Ms for breakfast wait what (laughs) you know talk to us about some of the things going on like you know what what's part of what goes a piece of fruit when they grow it I mean what does it go through before it even gets to me yeah well you've got a really valid point because as you have heard in the news we've had two very large outbreaks in fact um, a recent outbreak of E. coli associated with chopped romaine lettuce it's the largest multi-state outbreak that we've seen in 12 years since the spinach crisis. And now there's a salmonella outbreak on cut melons. So first and foremost, I think it's really important to understand that when something is cut or processed, it means it's been handled by dozens of different touch points. And every single touch point, every single processing point requires the utmost level of safety. And if that is not being upheld, then you're, you know, potentially putting yourself at risk. You're much better off in some cases buying produce that is unwashed, unaltered and do it, doing it yourself. Because, again, very hard to monitor every single step of the way. And there just aren't the, you know, the stringent practices in place to ensure that you can just imagine the mass volume of produce that's going through those processing facilities. So when I say dozens of sets of hands, I'm I'm probably being pretty conservative in that number, but washing with water alone just I mean, what else do we wash with water and call clean? Nothing. Not our plates, <laughs> not our hands, not our <laughs> not even our hair or our dogs, you know. You need a cleanser to be able to remove what water can't. That I'm speechless. Not even my car. And and when I say I'm I'm eating <laughs> yeah. unprocessed foods, I I considered, you know, fruit and vegetables unprocessed. And and actually, now that you've mentioned all these touch points, I guess even my fruit and vegetables would be considered processed? Well, there's, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. You know, eating produce is the best thing that you can do for your body and your health. There's no question about it. In fact, the recommendations that we hear from the American Heart Association and other organizations is that, you know, we should be filling our plates Uh, you know, half of our plates with fruits and vegetables every single meal. But the point is, because produce comes from all different parts of the world, there are different processes that are happening that we don't see. For example, uh, all of our stone fruit, pretty much, nectarines, apricots, plums, are waxed, in addition to about Mm -hmm. 80% of our produce. So that wax can trap dirt, pesticide residue and bacteria under the surface. And even the wax itself can contain fungicides and other additives that can be allergens. So if you think about that and you're just simply rinsing with water, there's no way to remove that wax coating with water alone because it's oil-based. So a very simple example of how, 
you know, we, we see the produce and maybe we don't even see the wax and we have no idea what's in the wax, but it's there. And it's critical that we understand that piece and how our food is being handled so we can properly protect ourselves. You know, Maria, I'm on your website now, eatcleaner.com, and I'm so incredibly impressed. I mean, you have these wonderful different, uh, you have a food food grade wash, and you've got an eat cleaner wash and wipe starter kit, an eat cleaner soak and store system, and new eat cleaner essentials bundle. And, you know, I'll see stuff at the store to wash my vegetables and fruits, and then I always forget, but now... <laughs> But after, you know, listening to, to, to this wonderful talk between you and David so far, I'm going, wow, this is such good stuff. I love this. And I understand that it washes away 99.9% of bacteria, 99% of surface pesticides. That's incredible. You know, we, uh, so I founded the company with my father, who's an environmental scientist. And um, he really was my catalyst because he got bladder and prostate cancer, and he was told to avoid oh. raw produce because he had pretty radical surgery. He had his bladder removed and became oh one gosh. of the, you know, over 60% of the population that is considered immune compromised. And, you know, salads were his favorite food. And I just thought to myself, if he has to avoid leafy greens and other raw produce because they're the riskiest foods to eat, we have a problem. You know, the very foods that make us healthy should not be what harm us. So we really got, you know, after his recovery, we went into the lab and spent two and a half years developing our patented formula to make sure that it was effective, to make sure that it went through the trials. You know, you can you, you might see other produce washes on the market, but you really have to ask yourself, did they go through the proper testing to yield the results that you really need to know that you're protecting your plate. And so that was a big part of our hurdle, you know, to getting our product line off the ground and out to consumers. And, um, you know, we, I am just as a mom, as a daughter, as somebody that's been in the food industry for my whole career, you know, when you're immersed in that industry, you see what people don't see. And I just, I feel so indebted to that knowledge that I have now had to be able to pay it forward and share with people that there is a better way and that they do not have to be a sitting duck, you know, hoping that they're protecting their family when they buy pr fresh produce at the store, but not sure if it's going to hurt them or not. There is a way to mitigate your risk. It's not 100%, but it sure is a big step and much more effective than water. I, I've got a question. Okay, I, my understanding is they spray this wax on it, not only so it looks nice and I buy it and it's a shiny apple or whatever, but it helps it last longer. And on your website, if I understand, you're saying if we clean it, you know, with your 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 product, that it's not only healthier for us, but it's going to last longer. It does. We are we eat cleaner is the only patented antioxidant and antimicrobial wash available. So. Part of a, you know, a big part of what makes us different is that we, you know, really take, we really develop the product line to be a way to extend the produce shelf life. You know, the two biggest issues in the world of fresh food today are food safety and food waste. We waste over 40% of our food and about 60% of our produce ends up in landfills. And that is a huge glut on the environment. And not to mention a huge waste of money. So if you bring home your produce and wash it with Eat Cleaner, which is formulated to inhibit the growth of yeast, mold, and bacteria on the surface of your produce so that it lasts longer, you get food that's ready to eat when you are. So bring it home, wash it, dry it, store it in the fridge. And, man, I can tell you we get testimonials shared by customers all the time on social media, people getting 12 days, 14 days, 21 days from washed strawberries, for example. You know, you never have to throw produce away again. This is amazing. Wow, it, amazing. It, it, it's <laughs> not just healthier for us, but you're going to help us save money too. So I invite our listeners, do what I'm doing. Eat, go to eat 
cleaner.com and check it out. Maria, I want to thank you for what you're doing because you're you're creating a, a paradigm shift in how we eat, uh, I'm going to say, unprocessed foods. I mean, who knew that some of these things went on with all our fruit? Um, it's just amazing. I never even thought about the wax sealing and all that junk. So I want to thank you because I'm trying to eat cleaner. And well, now I'm going to go to eatcleaner.com and definitely do that. Uh, so Maria, thank th you Maria, so much th for this opportunity. Thank you. Oh, thank you, and thank you for what you're doing in the mission. I'm David Pollack, your beauty guru, with the health expert and my co-host, the wonderful Lisa Davis. And remember, if you've got a question about beauty, do what the big brands do. Just ask David. The preceding show was produced by the Gab Radio Network. For more information about the services we provide, visit GabRadioNetwork.com.